Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We go behind the scenes to see how Mercedes-Benz is made, as well as an insight into the special techniques used to make luxury cars in the Mercedes factory. Have you ever been in a luxury car? There's just something special about these kinds of cars. From the quality leather seats to the comfortable interior, the cutting edge tech, and the sleek designs, these cars provide everything you could ever want and more. In recent decades, luxury cars have become a popular option, and several car brands have hopped on this moving train. However, we can all attest to the fact that Mercedes produces one of the best luxury cars in the world. Mercedes is a German automobile manufacturer with many accomplishments to boast about, especially in this era where cars are rampant. But these accomplishments are not limited to this century. Mercedes was the first company in the world to build a car, and since its first production, the slogan of the company has been, the best or nothing. This slogan really comes alive in all the vehicles produced by the brand, especially the luxury cars being manufactured recently. There are millions of Mercedes luxury cars in the world, and yet each one of them has a uniqueness to it. Many luxury cars are custom made, which means the customer gets to choose everything that goes into the production of their car, from the color to the design and everything in between. This often involves importing some parts from other countries, and as you can imagine, this costs even more money than a regular luxury car. To produce these cars, the components are made individually by different engineers and designers, and when that's complete, these parts are assembled in the factory by automobile engineers. Automobile assembly happens in Mercedes factories worldwide. However, the largest is located in Singelfingen, Germany. Now, let's talk about the production of each component of the car. Starting with the engine. Mercedes itself manufactures some of the engines used to produce their luxury cars, but in many regions, they partner up with other automobile companies to produce more engines. The Mercedes plant in Stuttgart, Germany manufactures enough engines for other plants within the country. However, in India, for example, an automobile company called Force Motors has been contracted to manufacture engines for all Mercedes vehicles assembled in the country. In the same vein, several other companies produce a wide range of engines for Mercedes. The engine could be petrol, diesel, or natural gas, depending on the car's specifications. The engines used for luxury cars are built with technology that makes them overwhelmingly powerful and able to maintain fuel. That way, the engine can power up the supercar to perform all the assigned tasks without having to stop for frequent fill-ups. Examples of these powerful engines include the i4 Turbo, V6, V8, and the 9G Tronic 9-speed engines. These engines are built to produce power equivalent to at least 300 horsepower, which allows Mercedes drivers to soar from one destination to another. Upon completion, the newly manufactured engines are transported to designated assembly plants, where they are fixed into the cars which are undergoing construction. Just like with the engines, some of the batteries that power up some of the luxury cars are produced in specific Mercedes plants, while others are manufactured by CATL, which is one of the biggest battery manufacturers in the world. These batteries are lithium-ion batteries, which are more powerful than other battery alternatives, and on top of that, they are resistant to self-discharge. These batteries are also capable of fast charging, which is an important quality especially for electric luxury cars. After manufacturing the batteries, they are also transported to Mercedes assembly plants worldwide. Other parts of the car which are not produced by Mercedes are also shipped from their various points of production to the assembly plants where the real work begins. These compartments include the leather used for the seats, the TV screens, the console, the metal used for the body of the car, the tires, the LED lights, and other types of bulbs used within and outside the car. When they arrive at the assembly plant, they are inspected and put through quality checks to match the provided dimensions, design, and tolerance limit. Those that meet the company's standards are approved, and the assembly process is ready to begin. The assembly process is the longest part of the car production, which makes sense because it involves piecing together over 4,000 individual components. Fortunately, this process is pulled off with the use of robotics in addition to human labor, which helps save time and increase efficiency. The components used to produce the chassis, which is the framework of the car, 
are unloaded in one part of the plant, while others used for other parts of the car are unloaded in their designated areas. The chassis is worked on first, and the automobile engineers and robots build this framework from the ground up. The chassis is produced with so much precision, because it forms the base on which the body rests and determines the assembly of other components that will be added subsequently. Upon completion of the frame, it's placed on the assembly line and clamped to the conveyor to prevent it from falling off or derailing as it moves down the line. Next, the frame moves to areas where other components are being assembled, and these parts are subsequently installed in the frame. These components include the front and rear suspensions, gas tank, steering box components, rear axles and drive shafts, braking systems, gearboxes, and wheel drums. Next, the frame is taken off the assembly line and the offline portion of the production takes place. This involves fixing the transmission system and the engine into the frame. These compartments are extremely heavy, so workers use robotic arms to lift them and lace them in the machine compartment in the frame. After the engine and transmission have been installed, an engineer fixes the radiator, which is supposed to cool the engine, and another bolts the radiator into place. Meanwhile, the body is being worked on in another part of the plant. This involves beating steel into thin sheets, which take the shape of roofs, doors, hoods, and fenders. Next, the frame is clamped to an assembly line once again, and as it moves along, robotic arms install these steel compartments and a couple of engineers fasten them onto the frame using bolts in the necessary places. As the frame moves along the assembly line, subsequent body components are installed, including fully assembled doors, deck lids, hood panels, trunk lids, and bumper reinforcements. Next, the frame moves to the welding area, where some parts of these metal compartments are heated to join them together. At this point, the frame is ready and the body is washed and sanded to smoothen it out and remove the dirt from the assembly and welding processes. Next, the car body is put through multiple layers of coating, usually handled by robots. Afterward, the car is coated with an anti-corrosion layer consisting of zinc phosphate, which protects it against corrosion. Too bad the Dodge Neon never got any of that. This is followed up with the application of filler, finishing paint coat, polishing, and finally, inspection. Afterwards, the interior compartments are installed, and some of them include interior lights, headliners, radios, speakers, all the glass except the automobile windshield, body weather strips, vinyl tops, brake and gas pedals, carpeting, and front and rear bumpers. Finally, a set of factory workers bolt the car's body to the frame, and others install the battery, tires, antifreeze, and gas tank to the car. Next, the car's engine and all the cool luxury amenities are tested. In the rare event that a defect is detected, the car is taken to the repair area, and such problems are fixed. Next, the cars are audited and given a price tag before being shipped to different customers all around the world. What do you think about Mercedes luxury cars? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for new videos.